Hello, my name's Don Teeters. I'm with Continental Technologies. I rehabilitate water wells for a living. The cause for the majority of the problems we found has been iron bacterial contamination of wells we've treated. Today we're going to do an illustration on the life cycle of iron bacteria and the problems it causes in your wells. Once this is finished, hopefully you'll go away with an idea of why the treatments you've used in the past have been unsuccessful and how you can modify them a little bit and get the results that you're looking for. When a well is properly designed, water will flow into the column pipe with ease as there is nothing blocking the flow. Over time, bacteria begins to form colonies on the inside of the casing as well as back in the gravel pack. These colonies tend to be close to the casing as a colony can only flourish with proper nutrients. The more nutrient available in the water, the farther back the colony can flourish. The bacteria will colonize thicker and thicker until a proper remediation technique is required to bring the well back to pumping efficiency. All wells make some fines, and as the colony builds, it restricts the flow of fines until they build and restrict the flow of the water. Most remediation efforts are limited to the casing. Your well can be as shiny as a gun barrel and the problem still will not be fixed. The problem lies in the colonized bacteria in the gravel pack. So through our process of surge blocking with chemicals, we work the chemicals back behind the gravel pack to where the colony originates. In doing so, we break down the fines that are holding the water back. When this type of remediation effort is put into effect, the well should go back to near original volume when the well was new, as long as there is no aquifer depletion. Through proper maintenance treatments, the well should stay intact and avoid having to do the major remediation for many years.